All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can challenge people to attempt to survive through 12 days of torture. It's The Sims 4. Very handsome blue cheese is looking concerned. And that is because today I'm going to challenge 100 Sims to put all the torture that they felt in the past to the test. You know the 12 days of Christmas? We're kind of doing that. Um, but it's 12 days of absolute agony. Today's death challenge is sponsored by Battle Cats. But since talking about it would be boring, I'm going to beat a tablet to death with a medieval battle axe. More on that later. Florida man is here wearing my grandmother's pants because today he is out of his element. He is in something that no Floridian should ever have to see. It's snow. So here's the plan. I'm going to take 100 sims and i'm going to have them living in two different environments the first set of 50 sims will live in a very close quarters environment and they will all be very congenial extroverted people the second group of sims will live in a gigantic mansion that has separate rooms for every single person in there and they're all going to be horrible loner introverts i will then infect one person in each atmosphere. Over 12 days, my Cocainico spleens will watch as everyone slowly dies, and we will see which environment fosters the best living conditions. I can't really say that this is even slightly relevant to real life because honestly, the Sims die no matter what. Okay, first things first, we need to build a 50 roomed area that we're going to use for the separationist Sims. Does it say Kiyomatsu Point? <laughs> Kill me. Point. I have constructed this isolation room for just such a purpose. I used it once in the past, but this time it's going to have a legitimate door so that if the Sims want to leave and mingle with other people and potentially kill them, they absolutely can. If not, they'll have everything they need to survive. I mean, I, I, you know, air quotes around the survive. Look at this. There's a TV, a sink, there's a bathtub. It even comes with fecal material already in it. I really also appreciate that there's a gondola passing by my house. So people literally get to enjoy the torture. I'm gonna make an educated guess though and say that the Sims that are all going to be packed together, like surrounding each other, living in their own filth and disease are going to end up being the winners because they're Sims. I'm also gonna have to decorate this place a little bit. It has to look festive after all. I'm not a monster. 49, 50. All right, and uh, this is what's left over. I said mansion is actually more just like a prison. Obviously, I'm not going to want people to leave. All right, put in some obnoxious lighting in the hallways. Oh yeah, this tree is festive as hell. Since most of their house looks like crap, I decided to give them a toilet. Got like Siri programmed into it. She'll soothingly talk to you as you think about how terrible your life has gotten. Can't fit this tree in here, I need it smaller. Here's your sad ass Christmas tree. Oh, it actually fits right next to the toilet. Excellent. Hey, Spleens, how's that Christmas tree look? She's like, delicious. I'm gonna use more of the available space. Not because I want them to have more places to actually walk. I just want a bigger dining area so they can all sit together while they eat and vomit on each other. I actually have no idea what this will do, but I need a place for some of these people to sleep. So I'm making coffins super small. <laughs> look, we'll be using them anyway, okay? I get the feeling that Spleens is going to have the most fun in this house, so I'm putting her litter box there. I need a nice your sign. Ah, stop. Safety time. We don't need safety where we're going. Actually, you know, you know what? Uh, <laughs> hell yes. Can I just make this the wall? <laughs> You're damn right you can. I wanted like a, uh, like a hall monitor for the other house. So I went ahead and I got this gnome over here that looks like he just tons of cocaine. There we go. Everyone gets a drug abusive gnome. God, it looks like a golden sea of urine. All the gnomes are like, I love urine. All right, man, looking pretty strong. I think we're ready to start killing people. I mean, testing people. It's for testing purposes. This is the tablet that I play battle cats on. This is a battle ax that I use to fight the sources of darkness. This is an actual cat. How many cats are there? I don't know, I can't count that high. There's ninja cats, there's anime cats, there's naked cats, there's just, there's this anime girl here, but there's a cat nearby. I'm not gonna lie, the uber rare cats are like really powerful. I like them the most. They're gonna have all new limited edition Christmas capsules featuring mighty uber rare heroes like Santa Coo and Holy Coppermine. But just because it's Christmas doesn't mean you have to stop breaking sh So let's beat it with a battle axe. So you're fighting in some sweet stage like the Great Abyss when all of a sudden a head vomiting smaller heads appears in one of your trees. All of a sudden your tablet 
rests its weary bones on the tree. So you accidentally hit it with your battle axe. Battle cat, son! Uh, yeah, I think it'll be all right. Anyway, if you want to download Battle Cats for iOS and Android, you can use the link in the description below. Starting December 21st, they're celebrating the end of 2020 with limited edition Christmas capsules. So you can have your own Santa coup in Holy Copper Mine and beat people to death with a freaking Christmas tree. And on the 24th and 25th, you get special gifts. I decided to use the man family as the individuals to uh, get things rolling in this particular house. Since they're veterans and this house is the underdog for the challenge, you know, that you're gonna need all the help they can get. Won't be needing this. Ah, I can see Florida man is changing into his more comfortable attire. I have to mention too, if you ever wanted your own Florida man, I fragmented what was left of his soul and I'm now selling it. Seriously, we have Florida Man plushes on sale now by Makeship. It's gonna be in the link in the description below. Check it out if you wanna pre-order one today. Now, tons of people will get to torture you, Florida Man. He's like, oh, fuck. Okay, our five preliminary sims are prepared and ready to go. Now we can start getting 45 more and fill this place up. I appreciate that the dinner table is slowly becoming a place of congregation. And then Blue Cheese is licking his ass right on it. I love how he's got that image. Like that look when you catch a cat and he's like, ow, oh, piss. You gonna, you gonna play that guitar? Or? He's like, I know how to hold it. I don't know how to play it. Where is your other hand? He's like, don't you worry about that. Not gonna lie, it's getting pretty crowded in here. Okay. I've got my first set of 50 extroverts inside of the house. I tried to like move them all throughout the house, but because they're extroverts, they all decide to congregate on Gordon Ramsay jamming on the guitar. Is that? Is that toilet doing like tricks? I'm pretty sure there was urinary acrobatics just happening. All right, 50 other people. I'm gonna have each one start off in their room. They're all gonna be introverts in this house. Okay, I'm slowly getting everyone separated into their singular rooms. A few people have already taken it upon themselves to start walking on the urine. Meanwhile, if you notice the gnomes behind her, he's like, I love you. Just because I thought it would be fun as well, I decided to make everyone in the separation house have the paranoid trait. Okay, now that everyone's all separated and in their appropriate spots, I went ahead and infected two random sims. One in this house and one in the separation house. Now it's going to take three days before the sickness that I've implemented actually ends up doing anything badly, but it appears as if though Gordon Ramsay has already urinated upon himself. Well done. And this lady is crazy as hell. What, uh, what is this? What the hell? You just took my garden gnome. A dirty klepto. Alrighty, we got good news. I finally managed to get everyone in their appropriate places and Lindsay has found out that Janet is evil. Okay, does no one here understand what the term introvert means? All right, we're at the end of day one and so far no one has died. That is a really good sign. How are my cats doing? Y'all still alive? Oh my God. Life is something of a fluid term when it comes to blue cheese. I like how this dude is over here gaining the comedy skill. He's like, 50 Sims walk into a Graystill Plays house. And this girl's like, okay, what's what's the rest of the punchline? And he's like, no, no, that's it. They all died. Don't worry, everyone. Blue Cheese isn't dead. He's just hung over. Okay, we're almost 24 hours in at this point, and we have not had a single death yet. So far, so good. Do you enjoy talking with your new toilet friend? She's like, he watches me while I sleep. I know, that's why I put him in here. Ah, uh, we had our very first bladder failure. Excellent. Miranda ended up being one of my infected people. But look at her. She's sitting all alone inside of her room. Sad and depressed. She's single-handedly going to keep everyone else alive, more than likely, as long as she stays the hell in here. There is a very, very large growing puddle of urine in the bathroom over here. I'm surprised no one has slipped and broken their neck yet. Okay, the layers of sickness will be progressing here in the next 50 minutes or so on to stage two. We'll see if we manage to get through the second day with no deaths. Wow, this is just an absolute hellhole I've created over here. I like that there's terrible guitar music playing the whole time too. There's always someone using this damn guitar. There we go. And we have our very first death. And it was in the first, uh, you know, 36 hours. Oh, second death. I like that the one guy that isolated himself way over here was actually the guy that died. And third death. I like how death popped in over here already at the dinner table. Oh my God, fifth death. 
Sixth. They're all on this side. This is what happens when you don't give kids their own damn room. I'm not gonna lie, at least Florida man's still alive. And seventh. You almost landed on my cat. If you're gonna die, die away from the animals. If you're cold, go ahead and warm yourself up in the oven. Ninth. All right, this side is not looking too good so far. I don't think we've had one single death in the separation house. Hey, we got our first couple of deaths inside of the separation room. And this isn't even from the disease yet either. Poor Brandon. He died as he lived, sucking at the guitar. Okay, we finally got our third death over here now in the separation house, and our 11th. Okay, so it's 12 to 4 right now. I hadn't thought about this, but the one girl over here that's actually infected and has been isolating herself the whole time, she's going to come out now and again when people die. So this house actually still has a chance to kill more people than this house. God, this is a hallway of death. You can wear all the pastel colors in the world but it still ain't gonna save your ass. It's always a good time when people are literally dying while I'm trying to save the game. Jesus, I told you the death never ends. This lady lost her legs inside of the lake of urine. Y'all done dying for two seconds? Can I save the damn game? All right, getting ready to close out an incredibly violent day two over here. We've got 20 people left in this house and 32 left in this one. Yes, we lost almost half of all of the Sims on day two. Now Miranda, my infected girl over here, is currently snoring on the floor. Apparently she's also evil. I didn't I didn't give her that trait, but I'm kind of glad that she has it. I was kind of afraid that she would end up spreading her illness to this lady, but this lady just died naturally inside of her room. So, uh, problem solved. Ah, contagious. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, Miranda is now contagious as well, but she's doing quite well. She's all alone, covered in her own filth. Someone died over here. Everyone was grieving. Everyone except for her. Not because I think she was trying to keep them from getting sick, just because I think she didn't give a sh**. Okay, we've got 16 people left in this house and 28 left in the separation house. This is our one contagious girl over here eating her garden salad in a very depressed fashion. Our other contagious girl is over here eating much more healthy with apparently pizza rolls. <sighs> oh, sweet Christ, who set something on fire? <laughs> I love how this guy's just chilling out. He's like, I was waiting for this day. Oh man, it didn't even kill anyone. <laughs> he acquired the cooking skill. I don't know if I would have called it that. You guys are a little late on the fire extinguishing. Uh-oh, we've got a spreading. In the bathroom of all places. Bab Ross contracted it, Casey contracted it. Zane Coleman. Oh my god. Where the hell's Madam Pizza Rolls at? Oh, she's still here. All alone. She's enjoying her solitude and she'll be dead in 14 hours. Someone came to visit my girl, but will she get her sick? All right, eight hours until this girl just dies on her own. Hey, Florida man, did you contract the sickness? No, he's fine. It's all that bathing and meth and stuff. Getting ready to close out day two here into day three. As long as this lady doesn't infect this girl, this entire household should be okay. Look at her. She's like, get the hell out of my room. Florida man is cooking. Oh, Jesus. Making some beans and Frank's there. He's like, yeah, Frank's. This is meat made from Frank's. Australian man just got infected, as did LSD and Reyna and Gunner. I think that's almost everyone over here except for Florida man. <laughs> this girl is trying to stay away from everyone as hard as possible. And people just keep coming into her room. This guy is sleeping on her damn bed. Oh, no wonder he's an alcoholic. He shoot her out of the room so he could use the bathroom and she just sneezed in the middle of this freaking hallway. Candace, Candace. <gasps> this girl has been trying so hard to stay away from everyone. This girl comes in her room and now contracts. <laughs> This house probably could have had like a 100% win rate over here for sure. <laughs> this girl screwed up for everyone. LSD finally dies of starvation of all things. Oh God, we got another batch of deaths going on. So this girl finally dies from her illness. Everything would have been fine, except for that one lady <laughs> that managed to contract it right over here. All right. We've got 12 left in this house and 30 left over here in the separation house. Uh, okay, we're down to 10 now over here. Holy sh! people are dying. This is the next culling right when we got into day three. Wow, this is just, just havoc over here. It's like this, it's like the, the isolation house decided to try and 
up the ante. Okay, there are eight people left in this house and seven people left in this house. Somehow, the isolation house has now caught up and surpassed the other house. Tonsils, are you literally just sleeping on one of the dinner plates? <laughs> okay, it's seven to six right now. Seven to five. Five to six. Florida man, no! You bastard! What's sad is somehow he died, and I thought, I think that Florida man was the only person that wasn't infected with the plague down here. Yeah, like everyone else has it. We just had a death. Starvation. This is incredible. The two houses are neck and neck. Five and five people left alive. Okay, four to five. Why don't you come in there and reap the soul there, Death? He's like, hell no, I'm not going in there. You must, yeah, must be crazy. All right, we made it through to day four. Ah, before. Before we had another death, of course, someone had to get the contagion. Well, after Raina went ahead and met all of the cats, vomited on the floor, and now she's dead. Three to five. Time for you to die from the illness. There we go. And Gunner is now contagious. Wait, is this? This man doesn't have the contagion at all? Saul? He could be the one. Two left inside of this house. And finally, Saul catches the disease. It's two to four. That means that the people in the isolation house just have to not spontaneously die for 72 more hours. Saul, it, <laughs> this guy didn't even get a death animation. He just slipped right in the ghost hood. He's like, man, ain't nobody got time for that. Death is over here. He's like, man, I can't even reeve anyone while they're in the bathroom. Is he dying again? He's dying as a soul. Okay. It's one to four. These four people just have to outlast this one guy who's terminally ill anyway. What the hell? What? What the hell are you? Can't you see I'm freaking killing people over here? Get off my property. Stop dancing. Are you kidding me right now? There are now three people left. All right, Saul has 24 hours left to live. All these other three Sims have to do is outlive him by literally doing nothing. That's right, use the microwave. Do not use the stove. Because if you burn yourself to death, that will be another person down. Ah, Saul is meeting all of the different animals before he goes. What the hell? Who? Why are you standing there watching her? Put her out! <laughs> this girl, was she even cooking anything? She was just using the damn microwave! You know you guys might actually screw this up. It's two to one now. Saul now has 18 hours to live. What the hell did you make outside of my house? What is this? You made a Danny DeVito snowman. We're on day seven. I legitimately can't believe that anyone made it this far. Good night, sweet prince. You lived a good long life. All of the cats will miss you while they're chewing on your corpse. Wow. And finally our last guy dies, which means that two people managed to get all the way to the end. Two. That's it, Jackson and Dwayne. I'm gonna leave you with this glorious face of spleens. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.